Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So I want to take a quick look at Traders Central. So just over a month ago, I signed up for their direct funding. I started it, I didn't get on well with it, not down to the company itself, just more the fact that I wasn't really worried about the $5,000 account. So I actually signed up for their challenge model as well. So I've now completed that just over a month. I've got to give you an update of how I've got on, what I think of their support, what I think about the behind the scenes dashboard and metrics, and what other good features they've got actually on the platform. So I've just completed one month and I unfortunately I didn't make the 8% profit target. I got close, at one point I got to 6% I believe, and then I had a little bit of a drawdown and then towards the end I thought, okay, I was gonna go and risk it, knowing that I wasn't gonna go and break any of the daily rules or the max loss rules and would be in a position where I'd have actually have a profit at the end of it and therefore eligible for a free retake. So unfortunately, I didn't pass, um, but I wanted to check also at the same time, what's the process for getting a retake? It's very key that when we sign up to any of these companies that we actually know what the good and the bads are. Now, we know that some of the better prop firms out there, it's automatic. As soon as you finish the month, it's straight away. Some you have to go and submit a request into them and they analyze your accounts. And I've heard lots of rumors with Trader Central, especially when the risk management team is that when people either get funded or go through these phases, the team stand and say, no, you've violated some rules or we don't like how you're trading and just stop it dead. So that's what I wanna try and find out. So I've got to the end of the month. Now, as it turns out, you actually have to look on the overview page and there's actually an account expiry date. I didn't know that, um, but I actually went on their on live chat and had a, a quick talk with the agents. Now the online chat was pretty good. If you compare it to all the other firms, I would say that uh, FTMO is by far the best. Before I compare it to my Forex funds, they were definitely quicker at dealing with the problem than waiting in a longer queue with my Forex funds. So it definitely is not too bad, but also there could be some room for improvement. It would have been nice if I'd gotten an email to say that my uh, month had finished and I was eligible for a retake, but I didn't do that. There's no automated process behind the scenes that I'm aware of. Now, when I actually had the chat with the agent online, I also went through some details, I provided the evidence, and the account was basically reset the next day. Again, I didn't get an email from it, which is a bit disturbing. I would have liked to have seen, okay, you've got this point, you haven't violated the rules, we're now giving you a free retake, here's your account criteria, etc. But it was all on the dashboard, I just had to log in and check all the criteria was there. So for me, that's definite bonus and a plus. But then you bring it to the negative side of that, the actual dashboard itself is pretty poor. Now when you first log in, you go to the overview page and there's not much information there for a trader as such, but it's kind of like a launch pad. You've got some details there around what the news is going on and what the markets are moving, what other people are trading. But when you want to go into your overview or your portfolio side of things to actually see your, your metrics, it takes forever when you click on that link to actually the page loads up. And sometimes for me, it doesn't even load at all. I have to log out and log back in again. It'd be great if they can make some improvements to have behind the scenes, and I'm sure they will at some point. But again, when you actually look at the uh, breakdown of it, we can see that uh, we've got the very basic metrics there, how many days we've got to uh, complete before we can actually eligible to pass the challenge, which in here is 10 days trading. We've got the drawdown and the max drawdown rules, again, quite clear and concise. It doesn't update as much as other dashboards do, but as long as we're actually paying attention to our MetaTrader, we shouldn't ever get into an issue of having to rely on a dashboard to tell us when we've actually broken and violated the rules. Now, one thing as well with the challenge account, you actually get a decision to make when you first sign up to look at, do you want raw spreads or standard spreads? Do you want to swap or no swap fees? Do you want to have a rule based on uh, number of positive days or drawdowns? Now, it's a bit confusing. I want you to look at all the actual parameters, depending on what the path you're on, whether it's the monthly fee, the one-time challenge fee. It can be very confusing. It's, uh, for me, I didn't see any difference between choosing any of the options, but it could be that if you're actually a more of a scalper on Forex, then the raw spreads and commissions might be a significant amount of the actual trade taken away from you. Now, I do notice when you place a trade, they actually deduct the fee straight away. So if you're trading Forex, I'm already down three and a half dollars just by trading one lot. So it's definitely worth considering looking at, and I'm gonna really pay more attention over the next month and analyze it in great detail to work out what their fees are like. Because people are telling me that their fees and their swaps are astronomical. But again, I didn't really analyze the breakdown on my last account. I wasn't too worried, but this month I'm gonna pay real attention to what the actual spreads and the fees are. Now one of the benefits actually with Trader Central 
is they have this like virtual cryptocurrency, which is obviously their TCT token. Now, what happens every single day you log in, you get 50 of these added to your account and you can gift these to other people. You can request them from your friends as well to build up your portfolio. Now, there's not much you can do with these apart from buy other challenges and get significant discounts. Now, where I've been on with them for, let's say a month, two months now, I've accumulated quite a large number of these by going in every single day and getting 50 tokens and 50 tokens. And before you know it, you've got a significant amount. So at worst case, if I was actually to fail the challenge and I have to go and do a, another one, the amount of tokens I have now at the moment gets me a 50% discount on another challenge. When you look at the actual cost of that compared to other prop firms, it is significant. So you're almost looking at, um, three four hundred dollars almost discount on some of the actual challenges which is huge now i don't want to be failing i'd rather actually pass and get to a point where i'm actually withdrawing money from them but again it's a nice one to have there and you never know in the future these tokens might be redeemed for other things you might be able to do other things with them as well and especially if you might have a friend sign up and they've missed out on some of the great promotions you could gift all of your tokens to them and they can obviously then use them to get some good discounts as well so lots of nice touches behind the scenes but overall as a company i've had no problems so far the support's been good the platform's been okay i've had no issues with that at all It'd be nice to have better dashboards behind the scenes, but again, that's just me being a bit picky at the moment because I know they're going to make some improvements soon. So I hope you enjoyed my quick sort of almost one month take on my time with Trader Central. Let me know in the comments how you've gone with them before, if you've got any negative experiences or positive experience, and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.